All right, we are back for episode two. Yo, Rosie yeah. is uh, unloading gas. Gas. How was your day yesterday? It was awesome, mate. Rode dirt bikes, rode jet skis all day yesterday. Got roasted. Use sunscreen? No. Ah. Use okay. sunscreen, kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, episode two. Thank you to everyone for episode one. Got lots of good feedback, so that's awesome. So the Savo, Sunday Arvo, so we're going to go do some wheelies, maybe teach Tom to do a few, to, and then just run through all the, all the different ways to do it, the rights and the wrongs, I guess, and we'll see if we can't get you all popping it up. You. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to go. I've got a bit of a sore elbow from uh, Jiu Jitsu, oh. eh? So. Oh. Yeah, we'll uh, see what happens there. But um, if there's anyone you want uh, to have teach you to do a wheelie, it's probably Brian. He's obviously uh, yeah one of Aussie's best riders, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, see how we go. How's the big girl up? I uh, gave her a bit of a service, mate. Never ran so bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was awesome. <laughs> She's feeling good. I've been getting out a bit, so yeah, it's been in actually. Sick been really good yeah I haven't been because I don't have a bike yeah um, just, just been mowing. mowing yeah <laughs> <laughs> just been mowing heaps but uh big thanks to my friend Faith she's actually got a sick um, Daytona 675R so I'm gonna uh, hopefully fix that up for her and um, yeah get out riding so next episode we'll, Tom says um, he's fixing it what he means is I'm fixing it <laughs> and he gets to ride it no way sports bikes my jam yeah. <laughs> so yeah um, so what we're sort of uh, thinking about doing is like with the next episode um, we're probably going to try to get out for a ride, go um, explore around the sunny coast, um, take it to some sick places because um, there are some freaking insane spots that most people don't really know about because they don't get to go around like obviously driving a car is a lot different to having a bike. Um, I feel like when you have a bike you do get out and explore a bit more, eh? Heaps more, heaps yeah. more. we got so much good riding here. It's a good excuse just to cruise around, pull up at a coffee shop, feel cool. If you don't feel cool on your bike, you're in it for the wrong reasons. It's the coolest feeling in the world. Pull up, set of lights, or a coffee shop, or a pub, or whatever. Um, it's a great feeling. It's like a sense of accomplishment that you were able to get that bike, make it yours. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah, I think that's why you find, like, especially with Harley riders, they'll sit at the lights and just fucking rev it, eh? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're the guy Why have you got it, that limiter I'm... on there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't find me doing that unless I'm being a real dick. <laughs> so you definitely find him doing that. Ooh. Did you break your trailer? Yeah, I just broke the little thing. Alright, we made it safely. Yeah. Knows how to drive a car as well, luckily. <laughs> so you got some new tins coming for this thing, eh? Yeah, I've got some tins there and um, Rod Tickle's going to paint them up for me. East Coast Airbrushing. Yeah, so he's he, a man. He, oh, he's a legend. So, great bloke. Dude! Yeah, Don't yeah if you time. want <laughs> if you want any custom airbrushing doing, um, Rod Tickle from East Coast Airbrushing is an absolute weapon. Um, definitely hit him up. Most important part, Tom. Oh, what's he getting? It's got to be clean. Ah. <laughs> what cleaning stuff you recommend? Mr. Sheen, actually. I don't know what this yeah, stuff is. Yeah, what have you got oh, in there? This stuff's actually awesome. So I got this from Original Garage. So I haven't used it much. I keep it in the car. Just because I don't have a heap of it. So for anyone that doesn't know, Original Garage do a heap of hard parts for the Harleys. Um, like these risers here. Boom. Boom. Um, then you got what levers, foot pegs. Like literally a whole range of stuff. Yeah, heaps of really cool stuff. Yeah. OG, they're a cool, really cool company. Um, I guess we should run through the bike real quick of what we got on for the wheelie side of things. So first things first, um, as we are just saying, we got the OG six and a half inch pullbacks. Um, so love that riser, love the company, Canadian company, Unreal. We've got the Thrash and High Bend bar. I really like the High Bend. Um, and it's not the aggressive. A lot of people really love the aggressive. I just ride my bike too much to have the aggressive full time. Um, then we've got the Ferrando front master cylinder from John Stamnus at Goodridge in Karoi. Um, so they're unreal. That has been a game changer for normal riding, skids, everything. So Let's have a look at this thing because they're pretty wild, eh? Mate, I'm proper. It's proper almost like um, changing it back to like an MX bike, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, it's like Jap bike technology on a Harley. So yeah, just ah. heaps of feel. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom loves yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do love that. <laughs> 
So got all that. Um, front springs there, so DX cartridge with rock suspension valving in it. Yeah. Saddleman seat, it's a must, so it keeps us locked in, stops us from falling out the back, obviously. Also great just for normal day-to-day -day riding, huge amount of lumbar support. And then our badass shocks on there. So we've got the Faro shocks in the 14-inch in the res. So adjustable high speed, low speed, rebound, and preload. Um, so I'm proper stoked on them. They're the best thing we've ever done. So I'm super stoked on them. Um, the rest is just a big set of balls and a heap of fun, really. <laughs> and vans. And vans. They actually the hands, yeah. really help you wheeling. Yeah. And <laughs> Aiken jeans. These things are badass. So they've actually got Kevlar in it. I'm not going to show you, but... Oh. That's all the people are here to see. Yeah, <laughs> they got Kevlar lined the whole way. So after crashing with Tom at Christmas with shorts on like a dumbass, I swore to myself I wouldn't do wheelies without them. So, um, well, that sounds like someone's dying. <laughs> but, we won't film that. Yeah, yeah th these these are sick. And then obviously the hooligan shirt. Can't can't go out without the hooligan shirt <laughs> and the heatwave sunnies. So. For people that are like obviously like just getting into sort of the Harley stuff and looking at doing wheelies, like what is like the easiest setup and the key things you would get for your, like your first modifications on your bike? Shocks, seats, bars. Shocks, seat, bars. Yep, a hundred percent. Like the shocks make the probably the biggest difference for the pickup, so allowing the bike to actually squat. Um, the seat, once you do get it up even a little bit, stops you from falling off the back of it. And the bars are comfort, right? Like you imagine if we're wheeling, and I've seen people do this. Jimmy Gamble used to do it. He had 18 inch ape hangers and wheelie in, but it's such a large lever point. If those bars move and collapse on you, the whole thing's come down. So it's just scary, right? Like, so we've only got a very small lever point um, locked in really hard with the OG riser. So they're never gonna move anyway. But um, the biggest thing, honestly, shocks, seat, and then, and then bars to get you comfy. Sick. The three things, honestly, two and a one, sure, get a two and a one, but, but if you were doing it on a budget and you couldn't afford the two and a one, I'd buy those other things first, for sure. Two and a one's more, more looks than, than actual performance with a wheelie. Yeah, they'll give you a great burn as well. Yeah. Um, it's actually called the Dynabro Scar, so yeah, <laughs> that's just so everyone knows if you've got a two and a one. So yeah, and the Fab 28, badass pipe, so yeah. real cool people. Sweet, all right, I'll get my skid lid on and uh, show Tom how to wheelie. Such a cool helmet. I've actually frothed this helmet for ages. Of, well, when we were first riding, I had a Simpson. Yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, yeah when you first started. Actually, yeah, I think the OG one was the Cannonball open face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually, yeah. I'll have to get a photo, because when we first like got into this sort of stuff, well, obviously you wheeling, me doing more like the content stuff, it was big pineapple car mm -hmm. park, you had your old street bob with your open face Cannonball helmet. Yeah. And what were you getting to? Probably like... Oh, nothing. I thought I was turning it inside out. I'm like, Tom, how close to the guard am I? Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, you're doing good. But I was miles away. Yeah. So. I had to make him feel good. And now look where he is. So yeah. really, you can actually thank me for where you are now. No. <laughs> <laughs> All that encouragement, eh? Because that's what good friends do. So let's warm the old girl up. Not going to go start wheeling it around without some kind of warmth in it. So I got about 28 pound in the back tire. Normal pressures in the front. Met's the triple eight on the back. We got the Shinco on the front just for bolt grip. Stock 88 cube with a small cam in it. So just the S&S 510 cam. So standard gearing, there's no tricks with the gearing. Gearing is normal. Let's just go warm her up and we'll do the wheelies over there, Thom. All right, so yeah, it is private property in here. We're allowed to ride here. Um, fortunately, we know the owner. So as I was saying, in Australia, you want to wheelie on the, if you've got a compound or private property or something, the opposite side for the camber. America's got it sweet because they already ride on that side. Clutch side of the bike's a lot heavier, so the bike will tend to turn to the left when you're wheeling. So opposite side of the road, so the camber's counteracting that is perfect. So. We'll start with just a small wheelie. I'll hang a banger and we'll get into one. First gear, obviously first. Test our brakes, all brakes are working good. Now, first thing, just a little bit of pace so that 
you're comfortable, right? Like you don't want to go so slow that you feel like you're going to tip and you don't want to go so fast that you've got no revs left to pick it up. So nice cruisy pace, clutch hand, I always tell everyone clutch hands like listen to classical music. It's just on the way out, just like you're doing a race start. And then the throttle hand is kind of like you listen to like mild hype up music. So you want to get it up with the clutch and then the throttle takes over about halfway to get the rest up. So we'll just run a slow one here. Watching clutch hand. Nice and smooth. Oh, hang a banger. So running through all those things Mallow clutch, let it float out, slightly bring it on that throttle, but you don't want wheel spin. So I give a dab of the front brake just to, to squat the suspension. So Tom should get this on film now. So so just a nice mallow one. There was that, that um, depth, no need for rear brake or anything. I just did it just to stop. So we'll run that again, watching clutch, listening to the motor. Now, the bounce of the arse, so that's all timing, right? It's kind of like the brakes dip as the brake, as the suspension's coming back up, you bury your ass into the seat and it's all kind of one motion, right? So, that one was a bit deeper, sorry, needed a bit of brake there, but so the bounce of the arse helps the suspension to squat down, which obviously helps with wheel spin. So. If, if I was not to use that, not to use any bounce, and the, literally the wheel just spins, right? There's there's no magic suspension setting. Well, the suspension obviously helps. We've gone through that, but it's not like it's going to do it no matter what. So if I just, without bouncing, using my suspension to help me, it's not going to do it, right? So. We've got to bring everything in. We've got to bring the brakes in. So a little bit of a bounce on that. Use the suspension, use your ass. You can even just do a bit more of a slide of the ass. So like, but you're still transferring that weight, right? You're loading up that rear wheel. Nothing too crazy. Don't, don't try and rip that ass in or, or to any angles. Just, just let it happen. Try and wheelie, get your front wheel. If you've never done it before, try and wheelie one inch, right? If you can wheelie one inch, then, then two, then three. If you try and wheelie to 12 o'clock straight away, I can guarantee you're just gonna burn your tire out. So small, it, it's so much more finesse than people realize. So nice and mellow. To be honest, you're probably speed than that, maybe around that 20, 25 k's an hour. And then just cruise, just just straight up. Um, you'll probably take the red. Another one, no brake needed. That's what it will start like, right? Like not too high. Nice and smooth. You want to meet, leave enough revs so that when you're coming down, you still have some revs. Because if you're bringing it down, which we all have done, if you're bringing it down on the limiter, you've got no revs left. So it's just going to be like, bang, straight down. If you come down and then right at the, right before your wheel's about to touch down, you bring the revs on that last little bit. So it goes, wah, room. And it's just so much nicer. So. Um, leaving it all to the last of the rev range. It, it, we've all done it, you'll probably do it, but um, it's best to leave a little bit in reserve so you can bring it down. If you do pop it up and you start to get really squirrely or things going crazy, just put it down. Just put it down, reset, start again. As soon as you, this is learning, right? Like as soon as you start to overcomplicate it and overcorrect yourself, that's where shit's gonna go wrong. So nice smooth pop-up like i said you want like that 20 25 k's an hour 
bruh, down, right? Like, try not to hit the limiter, but bruh, down. And then so, and just get comfortable with that. And then slowly yet surely, you want to start bringing it a little bit steeper, a little bit steeper on that initial part of the wheelie. So um, probably the best thing to do is go out with just a couple of years and, and just have that same repetitive mindset. You just do it over and over till you're really comfortable with it. Try not to start getting the habit of changing gears, right? A lot of people got in the, oh, I did it. We got in the habit of only wheeling so far in first. So I'd change in a second and be like, Brah! and just keep trying to wheelie as long as I could. It put me back so much because I never learnt how to tip it back. I never learnt rear brake. Like it just pushed those things further and further back. The biggest thing I can tell anyone to learn, rear brake. Once you've got rear brake and coasting, the rest just opens up. So yeah, we'll just keep ripping through that and show you a few more little things and keep chicken along. All right, so hopefully this is a good angle for suspension and brake. Bring a brake in, let go of brake, brake, go. Come on, Tom. Bit of brake. Hopefully we got Tom actually running. <laughs> That'd be sick. All right, so um, same thing. You can hear the motor, right? But like you can hear how it's just... Bruh. I'm, it's not fucking wrapping it on and dumping the clutch and that's just skids just totally skids so it's really smooth calculated smooth mellow on the clutch uh, like mellow to, to it's mild to aggressive on the throttle to bring it up but if you get everything right really shouldn't be much much aggression right like so we'll do another nice slow one watching suspension on the pop bringing the brake in lots of brake back down and Tom is sweat all right let's see if we can run him over so nice and mellow so that's like a basic rundown on a basic wheelie right so if you were here in front of me doing the wheelies, obviously I could critique you more and more and get um, see what you're doing right or wrong or whatever, right? And um, as always, we're not saying we are the best at anything or anything like that, but I can do a basic wheelie, right? No worries. So um, be smooth, be calculated. Um, send us in videos of you wheeling if you want a bit of bit of feedback on what's right and wrong, you know, like I can only try. So, um, but smooth on the clutch, just, just that, you, you don't want to, if you're doing that, if you're dumping it, you're just going to be skidding every single time. So we've got an L play to learn it to drive. So we'll, we'll let her pass. They're never normally that happy about it. Um, so nice, smooth, try and you kind of find that take up point, get it nice and close to that. So you're, you're ready to go and just so that the wheels full traction um, once you got that sorted then it's that it's just getting back that little deeper little deeper to the point we call coast coasting is where there's no throttle really required realistically not really any brake yet either it's coasting the bike is at a negative it is just sitting there coasting along right um, this does happen before 12 o'clock, like you, you, you have a small portion, a small window where you don't need brake at all. And then as you are coming back, you obviously start to need that rear brake more and more. As you are tipping back, you lose speed. So that's another thing that's very important. We'll leave that one out for now. But we might do a couple of coasts just so you can hear the motor um, and, and see the angle of the bike. I'll try and keep them a bit further flatter, not so deep. So we'll see how we go. When coast past Tom, hopefully. Smooth, bring it up. Where the throttle's off, not really much brake, little tap of a brake. No throttle, throttle back on, no throttle. So weird doing it with a, like thinking about it. Straight up, straight into coast, coasting, coasting. So that was basically no throttle, no brake that whole time. I, all right, let's see if we send one a little deeper past Tom. Just for shits. Sick. 
So, <laughs> Tom's happy about it. <laughs> so yeah, like the initial part of the wheelie is um, a shitload of fun. Like learning the transition between just cruising along and actually getting your front wheel off the ground. A lot of us blokes have been wheeling for a long time, as I was reminded the other day forever. Um, we we take it for granted, right? Like it, it was so much fun learning the initial parts of wheeling a Harley. They're not meant to be wheelied, they're not designed to be wheelied, and it's just a really cool, fun thing to do. So if you can get a really good group of blokes together and do that um, and hang out, and it, it's awesome, right? So, but be safe. I am not promoting doing this on public roads. I am not promoting doing this in the streets and running amok and I'm all for having a good time, but, but um, uh, keep it safe, right? Learn in a safe environment, especially learning. Don't, whenever we do rides at Farrow's, always say, there's people who are gonna be dickheads, don't learn to be a dickhead today. Don't do it in front of people where you're gonna make a real fool of yourself, right? Learn the craft, learn the trade, and then show off. And safety gear. Oh yeah, safety gear. So, Aiken vest, same thing as the jeans, right? Like, um, it's not a heap of safety gear. Don't feel embarrassed to wear safety gear. If you want to wear all the plastic safety gear and that and a back brace, um, my boy TJ wears a back brace and he's doing some of the craziest tricks you'll see. So, um, or armor, I guess you would say. Um, so don't be, if, if you're comfortable wearing that stuff, wear it. Don't worry about what anyone else is saying. Don't worry about what anyone else is wearing, but, um, you know, just do it, enjoy it, have fun. It's sick. It's the best, it's the best hobby I could ever imagine. So it's super fun. I love it. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. There are times where I back off it a bit and, and leave it on the shelf for a little bit. And then when I pick it back up, I'm like a little kid in a candy store. So um, swing us messages. Let us know. Uh, it's the first time I've ever actually tried to mic up and teach someone rather than just pointing and shooting while they're physically there. So let us know if it helps. Send us videos um, and, and we'll start doing a bit more stuff. Um, if people are progressing along, hey, we might be teaching people how to do hand drags or, or, or limmy coasters or foot drags or whatever. So um, the next thing of teaching will probably be donuts. Um, it's something that everyone wants to do or even just a simple standstill, I guess. So um, yeah. All right, so um, what about after wheelie food? What do you normally get? <laughs> food, uh, to be honest, we normally, a fair bit of the time, no bullshit. We go to the pub. Just chicken and broccoli? Nah, chicken Just palmy. lean meats, no nah. fats, <laughs> all, all nah, protein. I do eat good, but after wheelie, we get a palmy and a beer. Yeah. yeah. Do you need that bit of extra like weight in the belly just to <laughs> tip back? <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you made it on YouTube, you're famous. <laughs> I just said ringing the boss. Like Letting her know I'm alive. Like and subscribe. Yeah, like, have you liked and subscribed the channel? Well, oh my god, oh my god, it's my husband! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how you should be. <laughs> well, I'm actually making scones and dinner and lunches for the next couple of days, so I'm doing housewife shit. Is that the athlete's diet? Yeah. Athlete's diet, yes. His athlete's I... diet is, hey Jamie, what's for dinner? <laughs> um, in saying that, what is for dinner? And is it done? <laughs> <laughs> Hang up! <laughs> no, I'm joking. Tom made me say that. It's oh. in the script. <laughs> it's the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> it's the algorithm with his black gloves. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Need that timer. It means I need to get back to it. Yeah, good. All right. <laughs> I'm joking. I love you. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's not oh, well. Down well. Brian will be sleeping in the garage tonight. Oh, yeah. Back in the doghouse. Back in the doghouse. Oh, that went good, Tom. It did. I feel like that was good. Yeah. It was um, It was funny because obviously, like, I tried wheeling. I say I tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely tried. So when I, back when I had my street bob, like, what, V-Rod shocks on the back, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pop pack, pop pack cop style for a bit. Yeah. Um, but it is terrifying, eh, like, because it's such a big bike, like, Pulling them up compared to like a dirt bike or even yep. a super bike, there is no comparison. Nah, just it is wild. And you feel so deep, huh? Like like we were talking yeah. about earlier when I was doing my wheelies in my open face. Yeah. And thought I was at twelve o'clock. Literally, you you, and that's one of the beauties too. I reckon is that sensation you're feeling. I still feel now when I tip it right back. 
um, if, if Tom knows how to do it, or even attach a photo of that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I still feel that same sensation as what I used to feel when my front wheel was six inches off the ground. So yeah, it's oh, the yeah. same sensation the whole way. It's fantastic. But I think like the moment like you finally get that front wheel up, even yeah. if you are only at, like nine o'clock, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, what the fuck? Oh, like, it is gnarly. It is gnarly. It is gnarly. Yeah, hundred percent. No, it's the best feeling. Got to be gnarly to wheelie a Harley. Yeah. Yeah, but, and, and you don't need a heap of, like, it's a skill you can learn. Some people, I've seen blokes um, with limited dirt bike experience yeah. put a lot of time into wheeling a Harley, and they're really good at it. I think that's, like, the one thing I've said to you, eh, is, like, the big thing I've noticed is the amount of the MX crew that are coming over to the yeah. Harleys, like, yeah. after, I guess, like, you know, we realise that our bodies aren't built for it. Yep. Unlike uh, Jet and um, all the guys racing yeah, over in the States. right. Um, then but it's just like there is mate and, and older guys as well younger guys like um, like Drew Madden and his brother Zach at the moment they're ripping their motocross nuts and they're, they've bought DX's and they're tipping them back like Drew's ripping so um, and he's only been doing it a year so if you're willing to put the time in um, you'll reap the reward yeah you'll be ripping yeah. in no time yeah 100% because I think like obviously because I was always doing photos and filming and stuff back in the day like I probably didn't do it as much as I should have, but when you actually, yeah, put the time in and just like spend a day where it's just like, yeah. I'm not picking up the camera today, I'm just gonna focus on trying to get this bike freaking up. Yep. And like, yeah, it, it happens, eh? Dude, if people have got the right setup, I can 100% at least get their front wheel off the ground Yeah. Um, in a couple of hours, you yeah. know? Like, oh, well, and like you say, man, like ride with the right crew. Yep. Like, if you want to go cruising on weekends and go exploring, then um, go find that crew. If you want to do wheelies yep. and stuff, like, find that crew. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. We don't do too much mountain ripping anymore, do we? Like, nah, no, nah, not like we so used to. It's dangerous. Yeah, too, too many cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. also dangerous. <laughs> I reckon it's more dangerous trying to fly through a mountain range than what it is doing wheelies in a controlled environment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's like, I guess that's where my background was, was just. Yeah, I was just really good at going super fast yeah. on on roads, like out Kenilworth and stuff. Like back when I had my Jigsaw, like yeah, that's all I knew. And then I guess like when you convinced me to get a Harley, I was just like, "There's no way I'm getting a Harley, mate. Like, no way." <laughs> and then I rode your um, blue lowrider, yeah, and, and I was just like hooked because it's like that club style setup. It's literally just hopping on, like, on a dirt bike. Yep, yep. it's so wild. Aggressive body position, but comfortable. Oh, Unbelievably so comfortable. That's why I tell everyone they're the best best uh, style of Harley. Yeah. You can do everything with it. You can ride around like a dickhead. You can do wheelies. You can cruise. You can go to up. It's literally designed to be a performance slash comfort slash cruiser. It's everything. Yeah. It does it all. And in saying that as well, it's like if you've got a missus, they're so good for cruising. Yep. Like I remember when Ash used to hop on the back of a sports bike, she'd hate it yeah. after like <laughs> 10 minutes yeah. to be game over. Sitting up in the air. Yeah, sitting up in the air. Um, but with the Harley, it's great. Like, especially if you have a backrest to strap on, they're yep. freaking, um, yeah. But yeah, there's definitely like that, um, you know, there's always been that stigma around the noise of a Harley and how it makes you feel, you know? And it's yep. like, yeah, I think until you ride one and one that's set up properly, that's when you'll like truly appreciate like how good they are yeah it's a game changer um and in saying that like i'm excited to um have a rip on a sports bike again just to you know see what it was like and see if i still have that buzz after being around harley for a, a long yep. time now so yeah i'd love to get on a racetrack with like a setup harley and just a bog stock jack bike because obviously ha the jack bike's going to outdo the harley in every increment of that racetrack right mm. but i'd just love to yeah. ride a harley that's set up yeah. and ride a stock race bike you know like yeah. a jix of what 750 a jix of thou whatever yeah um and um see what the times are that'd be mm. cool yeah 100 yeah so like with the um track stuff um obviously we sort of talked about the other day is um buying a couple of ride-offs yep and um turning some harleys into some track bikes yep and then um yeah having a rip and just sort of i guess like yeah doing another totally different style like track racing harley yep. Yep. would be um, fucking rad. Obviously, there's like the Bagger Racing League over in the States at the moment that yep. is like really starting to take off. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, um, it's massive. So yeah, I reckon it'd be sick. Like, 
yeah, even doing a diner or even a sports thing, you know, like as much as, um, you know, what was, no, what, what was your dad saying? Yeah. He, uh, when I bought a sports, he said, I've got another daughter. <laughs> but but um, if your dad owns a sports, you've got two mums. <laughs> but um, I love me sporties. So flat track on sporties, I'd love to put one on a racetrack. We're yeah. on a sports. There's used to run around here flat out. So yeah. Um, uh, John from Moto Products, he still races his sporty, so we could get some tips off him. That'd yeah. be sick. I reckon it'd be cool just to, just to build, like when we do build stuff, like especially if it's like a write off, like yep. let's just build stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, just, just yeah. stupid, like yeah. really like push the limits of what we can do build wise. Yep. Yeah. And then fucking ride them hard. Yeah. I reckon we do ones that are like budget. So yeah. like someone could just buy a sporty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolt parts on. Yeah. Right? Like just bits and pieces and at least get out there and have a go. Yeah. Just like what we used to do with the flat track. Yeah. And then um and then set one right up. Yeah, hundred percent. And um yeah, obviously like we've sort of talked about in the posts and um mentioned before, like we're looking for a repairable ride off. Um so we are looking for a, a bike to build. Um but you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah. Um but yeah, obviously the next few episodes we'll probably just do like sort of like we've done today wheeling this time yeah um, maybe next week or the week after we'll do a bit of riding around the coast and show you some cool spots yeah um, although obviously weather pending because it's pretty fucked and right? we do have an insurance job coming up too we're going to do a insurance repair on um, our good mate drew madden's bike so that's coming up we'll show you stripping the bike setting everything away for, like tanks and stuff and guards away for repair um all the new part lists and everything we've got coming in um, and basically a run through of doing that. I'm really excited for that. The yeah, beautiful it's gonna be bike, sick. purple people eater. So yeah, um, that'll be cool. Yeah, I'm so stoked for that. Like, I can't wait till we actually get into the build stuff because I love learning and I love bikes. So um, yeah, it's gonna be rad. Free well, a headache for you. Yeah, we've stocked <laughs> up on these black latex gloves. So yeah, we've got another box of them. So almost sent Farrow's broke over yeah. that. <laughs> but you, YouTube algorithm, it is what it is. If anyone out there wears the black latex gloves, tag us. You watch. You watch. Everyone will be wearing black latex gloves. <laughs> Maybe I could get Fist Handwear to bring out a black latex glove. Maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> I reckon, I reckon, I reckon. So, um, yeah, what do we got coming up? So, uh, that was our episode two. So, we just did some basic wheelies. Um, next episode, we're either going to do some cruising through the hills. Um, we've also got a insurance repair coming up so sick yeah which will be yeah. awesome drew's drew's dx he's he's throwing that down the road so we'll uh go through fixing that sending him away for, everything away for repair um we've got we want to do some track bike stuff so yep. we want to set up some harley for track yeah buy so, some ride-offs and yeah. just go gnarly yeah, yeah hopefully the ride-off thing so if anyone's got a repairable ride-off in a harley let me know yeah but, yeah let us know because yep. like um yeah that'll speed up the process of us obviously finding a bike we yep. really want to get into like building stuff and so we can show you guys like all the stuff that goes into it um show you the budget of the bike yep. like all the parts all, all that the shit. breakdowns yeah. yeah so if anyone's got a repairable ride-off we can buy for a good price hit us up um but yeah that's that's it so far yeah so we're excited and um the response has been amazing so thank you yeah, like thanks, and subscribe yeah. And um, yeah, come along for the ride. Yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button. That helps us because yeah. Um, yeah, we promise you that if you subscribe and we get enough followers, then we'll make the best content we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep being us and having fun. <laughs>